ファジーカスの代名詞フローターを学ぼうという感じで I think I ended up with the floater because, yeah, I just I hate, I hate, hate getting my shot blocked. Like, I, you know, I can remember when I was like in the NBA, you know, with guys like, you know, Dwight Howard or guys like that that were. It's definitely not a shot that you're just going to show up to the gym and just be doing, you know. When the defense, you're, you're basically making it to where they can't react or they're going to be a half second slow to the react. That's the best use of a floater is. Jump! Jump! Meet you up! 今日は、えー、とニック・ファジーカス大先生による、えー、とニック・ファジーカスの代名詞「フローター」を学ぼうという感じでおお宝動画の予感ですねおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおユーチューブはユダイとビッグですあとカメラマンのコトですお願いしますめちゃめちゃ楽しみです,しすニクさんのあのシュートはどうやってできたんですかでのみ預けてニックファジーカスうん疲れてで最後はまあニックの得意なゾーンですね、はい、I think a lot of it stemmed from just like shooting a lot of hooks you know when I was younger and then it kind of just transformed into like being like a floater but um Yeah, we'll walk you through some steps that I kind of like did when I was younger and just like try to, you know, kind of help you guys out to try to figure out how maybe you can get a little bit maybe better control or, you know, certain things that might just、uh, be useful to work on to try to like increase, you know, the floaters that are going in for you. はい、ということでね、今回の動画はいろいろとニック先生が教えてくれると思うので、はい、ぜひ見て、実践してみてください。はい、それでは、やっていこうと思います。お願いしますそうですね。
so then how would you what, what's the ideal finish like what's the perfect way to shoot a floater i mean of course the ideal finish is obviously just coming you know especially if you're going to start down the lane right you work right and then you just have to put it here and then you can just go up with one hand right i mean that's going to be the perfect finish because right now you're going to probably be looking like this and you're going to be kind of going like that at this point if it's for me if i'm practicing then i'm already here you know i'm taking my my weak hand is is coming off you know right here so i'm able to get from here to here just like that and you know, like I said, a lot of you guys are going to have trouble palming the ball, so I think it's more important for you to get here and then kind of bring it up here, and then it's just going to turn into a one shot. So even just, you know, simple one-hand shooting like this is going to help you get this balance right with the ball, you know, because you just don't, you don't want the ball falling off that side of your hand because then you're just going to go left or right. You know, you only want to miss short or long at this point. So, yeah, just... I mean, perfectly, it's just gonna look like that. Of course, as you progress, you can obviously, you know, you can work into like a jump stop and then you can shoot floaters like that as well. Mm -hmm. But well, the hardest obstacle is going to be to make sure that you're not shooting to the right or to the left. That's the biggest, biggest that's the biggest obstacle of a floater is you wanna make sure this thing is always flying straight and it's either short or long. Because if you're trying to miss left or right, then you're obviously losing the touch on the ball and that's when the floater is going to not be a very effective shot for you. So what, what's good about floaters? I mean, for me, the floater is nice because yeah, it's like a surprise, you know? It's, 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 not, it's not a shot that the defense can really prepare themselves for, right? Because it's like, if I'm coming in and you know, you guys trailing and he goes and sees the layup, like he, can, he knows what I'm going to do. Or, you know, if you're in the lane and you make a move and you get to here and you jump stop, then the, the defense already knows what you want to do. But like, you know, for me, it's like, it's kind of an element of surprise because then you're just here and it's just like a real quick shot to where the defense can't really react. So I think that's the best, that's the best use of a floater is when the defense, you're, you're basically making it to where they can't react or they're going to be a half second slow to the react and then you're going to be able to get the shot off and then shot blockers can't get to it. Oh yeah, no, of course not. Like I mean, of course I'm a big, and I've you know developed a floater. Just I think mostly for me is it just became an effective shot because I just wasn't as athletic as a lot of guys. But of course the small guys, you know, guards, it's it's a very effective shot for you guys, especially in and around this paint area. You know, you start to get to a level where there becomes a lot of shot blockers, then the floater is perfect for you guys. You know, honestly, floaters probably aren't really used for the backboard as well. That's probably another thing that should be noted is that you never probably want to get here and try to float and use the backboard. It's just way too tricky of a shot. Of course, angles of this, like over here, it's probably okay to use a floater and you know be able to shoot off the glass, but me personally, I don't think I really would want to shoot floaters off the glass. So for me, if you're gonna run this drill, you know, just get in here and get close. Even if for some of you guys that might be struggling, maybe it's a little bit far out, so start maybe on the second notch here and just work on getting it over the front of the rim. That's really what you want to do. Um, but yeah, stay away from using the backboard because that's going to be, that's just going to add another element of difficulty. How did you end up with the floater? I think I ended up with the floater because yeah, I just, I hate, I hate, hate getting my shot blocked. Like I, 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 I cannot stand when someone blocks my shot. So, uh, you know, I can remember when I was like in the NBA, you know, with guys like, you know, Dwight Howard or guys like that, that were, you know, they were able to jump so high that like, if I was gonna shoot it from right here, just a regular shot, he was gonna be able to block it. But if I was able to surprise him and he, you know, he's getting ready to load up to jump and I'm already here shooting a floater, then he's gonna be a half second behind. For me, it became a shot that I just knew no one could block, and I was like, I gotta perfect it because I hit me in my shot block. You've never had the floater, but you've practiced, and now you're a very good floater shooter, right? So it's something that you can practice? Oh yeah, of course, you know, like it's definitely a, a, a shot that you, you, you know, you work on, you know, it's not, it's definitely not a shot that you're just gonna show up to the gym and just be doing, you know, like it's something that I put a lot of work into. Um, you know, I've shot a bunch of floaters in practice, you know, I, I have, drills I have things that I've done throughout my whole entire career that have 
got me to where my floater feels pretty comfortable. But yeah, don't expect to show up to the gym and just be shooting floaters. You know, it's something you need to practice and something that needs to, you know, be a very, you know, efficient shot. It's a little bit of practice, like game speed of what you can do to get a your right. floater better. So yeah, for me, it's like, this is perfect footwork, okay? So it's like, like you can start here, and all it takes is one dribble, and then all you have to do is just keep pulling it like this. Um, you know, and again, every single time you're working out, you know, don't come in and do this at the speed I'm doing right now. Like when you come in, you wanna make sure you're here, and then you wanna go as fast as you can because you wanna simulate game speed as much as you can. If you come in the gym and you do half speed floaters like this and you're just working on it, okay, when you get to the game it's going to be way too fast and then everything's going to be messed up. So what I suggest is take that first step, pretend that there's a defender in front of you, you left him behind, he's back there, and now you're shooting this floater to get away from the next defender. Of course you can slow down. This first move needs to be quick and then you can kind of slow down when you get to here just to get to it, but make sure every time you do drills and make sure every time you're shooting this floater, you try to go as fast as you can to try to make sure the game is easier than practice. Thank you. 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 あとはどういう状況で使えるかとかいろいろ話してくれてたと思うので、うん、やっぱり小さい選手でもねこれを応用することができると思うので、うんまあ、ブロックされたくないブロックをかいくぐりたいっていう方々にはぜひ参考にしてくれればなっていうふうに思いますフローターだけじゃなく自分の武器を信じて一生懸命練習すればということでそういうことですねはいありがとうございましたありがとうございます、はい、ということで今日の YouTube は雄大とビッグですカメラマンの元ですありがとうございましたありがとうございましたありがとうございました。